What's up, my family? Let's fix this. So today we're gonna be doing some trailer stuff. What you see behind me is my newest vehicle, F-350, 7.3. We'll go over that in a different video, uh, just cause I wanna do some trailer stuff today. So as you guys know, this is uh, my trailer that I originally had bought about three, what is it, three, three and a half years ago, something like that. Um, it was pretty beat down, redid the whole wood deck, extended it, um, you know, did a couple, uh, obviously stained the wood, which is actually pretty beat up now, but, um, also installed this winch right here, got that installed. Um, I tried to make some contraption right there with the winch stands on, but I got to add two kicker tubes that go out towards the front of the, the tongue here. That way it can actually, so I need a kicker tube that goes from here to there to reinforce it um not my best wall job <laughs> for sure but it was one of the first things i did uh so and it, and it worked for one vehicle but i saw that vehicle kind of you know the winch was kind of like going forward with that vehicle's weight and i was like Ugh, you know what i mean i was a little bit scared i was like oh, hopefully this thing doesn't freaking just freaking bust and just end bad so I got the kicker tube there. I got some new chains, some new 3 8 uh, grade eight, uh, freaking big daddies, 3 8 um, pretty big heavy duty chains. I figured, you know, the chains that are on it, if something were to really happen, would I rely on those chains to hold the weight of the vehicle? Probably not. You know, they probably weren't going to do the job. And especially because one of the chains uh, pretty much was already, uh, it can get rubbed the floor and uh, it's already on its way out. You can see this one right here and rub the floor. I welded it together just to get me by for a trip. But obviously once I uh, had the RV break down, these chains were literally rubbing the floor uh, when the RV was being pulled by a tow truck. So they're pretty much done and they're they're small you know so i wanted to i gotta cut all this out of course um this one's just welded to here which is not even that great of a setup and then of course this one same thing the chain is just welded onto the the tongue itself and it's literally just that small section of bead so i'm gonna do this i'm gonna clean all this up clean this side up and then i'm gonna weld that tab that they supplied me and then I'm just gonna bolt them up and then I'm probably gonna, I'll probably have some slack. Um, oh, I'm gonna delete the slack with the pin and uh, receiver that I have for it. That way I don't I don't ever want them dragging again. And they're gonna be, they're gonna be set up to where they cross under and I have a decent gap. Um, so, but not too much of a gap and not too big of a gap so that they don't rub. And then also so that they're freaking, they don't prevent me from taking it off if, I, if need be so um it's definitely going to be a fun little project and i'm here to bring you guys along let's get started <music>
Here's the finished product. Welded them up. Got a little bit of wind here at the end. So I got a little bit of uh, porosity in the, one of the little beads right there, but no big deal. It's gonna do its job. A much thicker change than what was on there. Let's let's check the diameter. Diameter check. So as you can see, but look at that. <laughs> the size of that link compared to that one. Now on the hell is this supposed to hold 7,500 or uh? I guess 7,500 pound load with the truck and all that. Say if that thing popped off the, the freaking hitch and wanted to come off, I would rather trust these to get the job done. Um, so I'm happy that I installed these. Uh, I'm gonna paint them and then get everything locked in. And then, uh, yeah, I'm freaking excited. Thanks for watching guys.